Hey, Kyle Wilson here. Welcome to the channel where we talk about metaverse crypto and NFTs. In this episode, we'll be talking about Alluvium, first AAA game coming to crypto in the NFT space. And the game is getting closer and closer and they are looking to release their beta and then the game after that. So without further ado, we're just gonna cover this project and what has been going on. And without further ado, let's just dive into the video. So first things first, we are looking at basically this game mode that lets you basically fight alluvials until you basically die, I believe is the premise of this battle map. And as you can see, the graphics are absolutely amazing. You can see the, the sparks coming off of it, the electricity uh, surges in the legs, everything like that. This arena is super cool. You can even see the water glistening. So the graphics on this game are absolutely stellar and amazing. And I'm super excited to get into this game once it launches. So if you haven't been paying attention, they have been releasing lots of different, you know, teasers and sneak peeks in their discord. I'm not going to go over all those because there's other channels that do that. But I just wanted to point out how solid the graphics are and how solid the gameplay will be. I was actually in the discord the other day when Kieran, the one of the co-founders of Alluvium, hopped in there and shared his excitement about the game. He basically jumped into the beta and started playing the beta and was absolutely amazed himself. And he was like basically spilling all the beans as far as his excitement goes and really hyping it up and saying, you know, he's just ready to launch this, you know, beta. And they're thinking about, you know, opening it up to the public and which would be absolutely cool. And so, yeah, so right now their beta is pretty much locked and capped at 500 users, but they're talking about doing the limited beta run when it comes to the public. So maybe we'll get a taste of Alluvium before the game officially launches. Now, like I said, this is just one game mode and they have several and maybe this game mode sticks around for the long term of the game. Either way, I'm pretty excited. And by the way, if you're new to Alluvium and maybe you don't know, Alluvium is one of the first AAA games that is going to be based on the Ethereum blockchain. And they will also be using a layer two solution on the Ethereum uh, blockchain as well with Immutable X, where their NFTs are gonna be based as more of the, you know, the ones that, uh, the alluvials that you'll basically collect in the game. So. With that being said, yeah, there's a lot to dive into in this project. There's a lot of mechanics and gameplay and, and everything to cover too much for one video, but I just wanted to get the basics down and let you guys know and update you on what is going on because we are getting closer and closer and the hype is getting real and real and their discord has absolutely popped off since I last covered it and really the first time I covered it since a long time ago when the token was uh, all the way from 500. Now it went all the way up to I think almost 1500 the price and now it is back down to 670 and in my opinion that's still a pretty good buy it has came down like I said oh it looks like it actually went up to 1800 and we are back down here in this level so for that reason I think for me it'd be an interesting time to get back into Alluvium and buy some more tokens for the long run uh, I look at projects long run. I'm not a short term guy and you know, I have better things to do with my time than sit on a chart and day trade. Now I do know how to day trade. I do know how to swing trade and I do know how to enter tokens at the right time. I actually screen stocks and crypto all the time. So I know the criteria to look for. And this reminds me of, especially the viewers that are on my channel already, you know, similar to the Omi token run up here and then it dropped down. And as you know, it's been on a steady rise since then. As you can see, Alluvium kind of doing something similar. And so I'm keeping a keen eye on price and kind of figured this would happen and the price would go back down as you know, there was a slight lull and a couple delays, no big deal, but people obviously selling off for different reasons and maybe some token unlocks or whatever the case may be, or just taking profits, right? So. I am looking at this as maybe a possible good entry. Obviously, if I was really looking closer, I would have entered here when the, when the token fell below the RSI um, right there. And of course, that would have been an easy gainer. Even if I was just swing trading it, that would have been a nice trade. But as you can see here, I'm a long-term guy and I think it's gonna do something similar to what Omi did uh, when it reached down here. And as you can see, it went green again. And then there's a slight lull. 
to the next uh, channel and consolidated there. So I see the same thing happening here. And then long term, obviously, this token being a deflationary token and there being such a limited supply of this token, there's only 7 million uh, currently in the max supply is 10 million alluvium being their first game you know to launch with this platform and there's a couple different game modes in game as well as well as they are already talking about other future games and this is going to be one of the utility tokens used in all the you know future games that they have planned so that is why I am super bullish on Alluvium and this project, and it is an auto battler. So we're going to take a look at some of this gameplay. Um, as you can see here, this is kind of the mechanic here uh, on one of these battle maps, and you can see the Ranger kind of shooting that uh, Alluvial, and you know Atlas right there doing his thing, and that's kind of the genre right there. And you'll have different, you know, obviously you want water like style alluvials to fight against maybe like fire and you know so there's going to be definitely an element of strategy if on you know game modes like this versus just fighting you know like a massive wave of alluvials that just keep coming so but with that being said uh this is one of the many you know game modes if you will like kieran said there's the open world and catching these alluvials in the first place which i think uh, in my opinion it kind of interests me there because i was very much into pokemon but as you can see, the details on this game are absolutely epic. You can see just how epic they are looking at this. And this isn't even rendered in 4K or even 2K. This is just a YouTube video. And I can't imagine what it's going to be like to actually jump in the game and see this. I actually have a 3090 GPU, and I'm super excited to load up the high settings and graphics on this game because they're going to absolutely be epic. I mean, they are going to be uh, pleasing to the eye. And when I start talking about that, I think of games like Fortnite, where visually it had such an appeal because, you know, those colors were so vivid and people weren't used to that. They weren't used to seeing those vivid colors. And I think that uh, drives a lot of the success of Fortnite. I mean, there's a lot of other things that, you know, was a part of that success of that game. But in my opinion, you know, I've heard it time and time again from, you know, different gamers, how visually pleasing and how much eye candy it was like for the gamers to play the game. Not only was the game fun and exciting and there's all these, you know, pros and streamers playing, but it was actually pleasing just to watch and run around in the map and play the game. The colors make it very interesting. And I see this having one of those same dynamics where not only is the game looking amazing, but you're going to have that visually uh, pleasing, you know, cosmetics that want you want to really just participate in the game. Even if you're not that good, it's just one of those games you want to play because how visually appealing it is. So with that being said, those are all the, the things that tick my bell when I'm looking at games and I'm looking at games I should play for the future and games that I can just really grind on and not get tired of it, uh, but really just keep getting excited about it, especially how these alluvials are going to be a deflationary themselves. You catch them and over time, you know, basically they'll just get more and more scarce. And I do like that idea because like I said, I was a Pokemon card collector. I played the game. I mean, I was a big Pokemon nerd and fan and it had some of the, you know, all the first edition Pokemon cards back in the day and collected other, you know, card games as well. So I, you know, I'm very much into the collecting side of things, as you know, you know, with the VV collectibles behind me, the uh, Todd McFarlane Batman statue with the 9.8 Todd McFarlane comic uh, and then everything else, right? You know, you guys know that I collect on VV. I collect NFTs on OpenSea. And with that being said, I just am, you know, also excited for this to come out. And uh, maybe we'll have another future interview with one of the co-founders of Alluvium. So stay tuned. You want to make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any more videos like this. But that's all I got. This was just a quick price update and what I see culminating and, you know, with Alluvium and the hype and there being so many people in the discord. I mean, things are starting to snowball and avalanche. I'm seeing it even with the token unlocks coming very soon with the uh, founders and seed investors with their token unlock. Um, 
coming down you know around the corner i still think this would be a very good opportunity just as a token being down quite a bit from now and maybe the token goes down a little bit more that's fine with me because i'm such a long-term thinker you know a couple months of time even a year like that's not gonna do you know that's not gonna be as much of a you know problem with me i'm looking at alluvium as you know a game fi or a DeFi type of you know gaming studio right and when you have an opportunity to invest in the next like blizzard or the next you know activision or whatever whatever the case may be you take a you know serious look at it the next riot or whatever right if you are able to get some of those tokens and stock in the early beginning and there's such a finite supply of the stock and things like that and pieces of ownership of a company you know you better believe i'm going to take a serious look at that especially you know with a game like this and all the, f the future games that have yet to come down the road i'm going to definitely take a serious look at on the investing side of this game and so that's all i really got i'm not saying this is going to be the next blizzard but i'm going to definitely take a serious look just at what they put together in such a short time that's why i'm so bullish on this they are able to move so much quicker than these traditional gaming studios and for that reason i am super bullish on it and very excited to see what is in store in the game and yeah that's all i got for this video i went on long enough but smash the like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure you share it with your friends and family and people that want to learn about alluvium and maybe they're you know maybe they're not as excited hopefully this video will get your family or friends excited about alluvium because you know i am and uh and i've been in the crypto and nft space for a long time so i don't just do a video on any project i do it on the best projects in my opinion at the time so that's all i got i'll see you guys in the next video at the blockchain and as always be like an nft be authentic and i'll see y'all in the next one peace